Oh. I mean, what an intro that is. I've just realised where I'm sat, so if you vote me off, my walk of shame is go and sit down on the stage and stare right back at you. Not advocating it for a second there. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm married. I've got two children. When my wife was pregnant with our first child, I had doubts about whether or not he was mine. And I'm ashamed to say that when he was born, I checked what colour he was. <laughs> Thankfully, he was ginger. <laughs> in the build-up to him being born, I had a couple of big responsibilities. One of the main ones was to build the playlist that we'd have on during the labour. I was affectionately dubbed DJ Delivery. <laughs> I came up with the title myself. Also, I was the only one that used it. I opened with salt and pepper, push it. But push it real good. Which the midwife thought was funny until the next song was I Want to Break Free. <laughs> and then let it go. And then the drugs don't work. <laughs> I tried to lift the room with Things Can Only Get Better. <laughs> but they didn't, so next up was R.E.M.'s classic, Everybody Hurts. <laughs> As my son was finally born, I topped it all off with I'm Coming Out by Diana Ross. <laughs> it was a beautiful moment. Unfortunately for my wife, the encore was Natalie and Brulia, torn. <laughs> yeah, we laughed at the time. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm getting older, Sheffield, I'm in my 30s. I think I feel my oldest when I play computer games. They used to be really fun. Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario, collecting rings, popping mushrooms, having a lovely time. Now gaming's just going online and getting gunned down by prepubescent teenagers. Who simultaneously, simultaneously hurled abuse at you down a microphone? Hey. Yes, uh, yeah, thanks. Um, uh, the main thing is, though, you don't buy, you rise above it. Okay? I'm a grown man, this is video games, I'm not taking it seriously. I'm calm, I'm serene. I, ladies and gentlemen, am beyond. Obviously, sometimes I've just shot them a quick teensy message. <laughs> nothing offensive, nothing specific. I barely even know what it says. I mean, it's something along the lines of, You are a twisted toad face twisting a teenager and you have trifled with the wrong top dog. And I'll tell you, if you're not more thoughtful about who you're talking to, I'll tumble on over to your turf and I'll traumatise, terrorise, and ultimately tarnish in totality your tenure on this terror of the twat! <laughs> But yeah, I'm not a serious gamer. <laughs> Between you and me, I'll probably just stop playing The Sims. <laughs> I'm a big fan of chat-up lines. Give us a cheer if you've ever used a chat-up line. Wait. Wait. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this front row is working out nicely. <laughs> Give us a cheer if you ever had a chat line used on you. Whee! <laughs> My friend's favourite chat line is, Do you work at Subway? Because you've just given me a foot long. <laughs> it's pretty good. And it's working over here. But I think there's a gap in the market for breakup lines. That's creative phrases that are there. Not to help you start a relationship, but to end one. I'll set the scene. You've been engaged for three years, you sit your partner down, you take them by the hand, you look deep into their eyes and you say, darling, you and me, we're like six deliveries of cricket. Over. <laughs> wow. Wow. Babe, our relationship's just like you, three minutes into sex. It's finished. <laughs> I think we should be more like milk when it's been left out of the fridge too long, you know, separated. <laughs> I'm just saying we'd be better parents to the kids if we were a bit more like David Beckham's hair in the 90s. Parted. <laughs> I personally like, hey babe, do you really like the back half of cars? Well, you're in luck because you're getting the boot. <laughs> There's somebody making notes at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Big news, I'm still sleeping with my ex-girlfriend. Although she prefers her official title of wife. <laughs> We've been married for seven years, so now when she says, 
I'm just going to go upstairs and slip into something more comfortable. She means she's going to go upstairs and she's going to slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> She'll be coming downstairs in that onesie I bought for her, zipped up as high as possible. Her idea of role play is let's naughty nurse some more luxury carpet. <laughs> All I'm saying is in my house it's less shag a lot and more shag pile. You came for the carpet jokes, right? <laughs>